Nice play by Wiederer. Weeder along the boards, right on the money to Cam Askew, steaming down the right side. Askew drops it back to Garland. Garland moving in the shot. They score! Garland! What a wrist shot! Belaze down a little bit early, and Garland under the crossbar on the glove side, mind you, on a pass from Askew. He is really on the dialing in Mike with that puck. Connaughton with 15 seconds to go. Garland now with a head of steam. Cutting the other way. He lost it though. Cody Dunning, he brings it in from the blue line. He lost it on the poke check. Garland will try it again. And he lost it as well at the blue line. Three in a row. Moncton trying to make the play at the blue line. Cutting in Cape Breton in front of the net. They score! Tommy Jolie! Case in point, not lost on the coaches. You try to deke players at the blue line. Four on four, watch the ice open up. 13-20 remaining second period, McEwen going off. Two minutes for high sticking. There's a shot from the blue line and traffic in the net, Cape Breton. Man Dixon appeared to be screened on that, Mike. We were just getting the announcement on the McEwen penalty and a shot through some traffic and Cape Breton's up along the boards. Garland sliding it back to Adam Holwell. Holwell throwing it in traffic. Belanger steering that to the side. Weeder is parked in front, Askew in the corner, back to the blue line. Holwell with a shot, high wide, loose puck off to the side. They score! Chipped! Looked like Melange had it. It doesn't matter, it's in the net. Kozak moving in from the point. And it <laughs> slot still with it. Back to Fiore. Fiore to Guslan at the point. Guslan sliding it across to the middle to McIntyre. Back to Guslan, he'll fake the shot. Back to Fiore's shot, a high wrist shot wide, sailing back to the point, Cape Breton, 15 seconds left in their power play, 2-2 two -two tie, a shot there, the rebound, they score! Off the boards, Blademan Dixon and a Cape Breton player in front of the net, the Cape Breton player backhanded that rebound shot. Five, Pickard, a drop pass to Adam Holwell. Holwell trying to throw it in front of the net, blocked by Dubois, off to the wing. Five minutes, eight seconds remaining, a centering pass, there's a shot, they score! Joey Richard! Getting it from the corner, number 16. And the Dieppe native puts it in the net. That's a goal. Wildcats tie it up at 14.52. Not a hard shot, but he fell from a sharp angle. Man Dixon shutting the door on the short side. There's a long pass on the wing. Will Smith taking it from Steve Johnson. Smith over to Johnson, cutting in on the short side. In front of the net, the shot, they score! What a beautiful play! Smith to Johnson. Who came in on the wing? And showed up, was it McEwen, Mike? What a beautiful setup by the captain. Third period action, 13.55 remaining. Inside the blue line. That's the Cape Breton blue line. Martino lost the puck to Askew. It's a two-on-one with Weeder in front to Weeder and the backhander. What a save by Belanger. A two-on-one quickly developing. Askew to Weeder or time. No. It goes to Campbell Pickard. Pickard along the boards. Knocked off the puck. Cutting in is Murphy from the point. He has a beautiful hook on Murphy. Down he went. And the booze coming out here at the Coliseum. No call. Loose puck by the Cape Breton Eagles. Back in front. They score. Martino came back and jammed it in on a three-on-two rush at the net. And listen to the booze here at the Coliseum. Begin from the right point, getting it, firing it away right away. Garland in the corner, back to the point to Kozak. Kozak, mumped it on the power play. It's a 4-4 tie with 9.45 to go in the period. Adam Holwell lets it go, scores! Holwell! One timer in the slot, I think Connor Garland set him up. And at 10-18, the Wildcats take a 5-4 lead. Adam Holwell, Mike. That'll make a goal.